Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot and this is going to be the weekly spread for the Sun, Moon and Rising Sign of Gemini. So Gemini, this is going to be for December the 24th through the 30th of 2018. Gemini, I've been shuffling and meditating on your cards before I turn the camera on and I saged my sacred space here and I believe we are ready to start your reading. All right, give me just a second, Gemini, to get your cards out. Very nice. Ah. Very nice, Gemini. Very nice. All right, give me just a moment. I'm also going to pull an energy oracle for you as well. Spirit, this is for sun, moon, and rising sign of Gemini. For December the 24th through the 30th, 2018, Gemini. Thank you, Spirit. All right, patience. All right, give me just a second, Gemini. I'm also going to pull a life purpose oracle for you as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes. All right. Thank you, Spirit. What do you have for sun, moon, and rising sign of Gemini? Sorry about that. I had to get a drink. All right. Sun, moon, and rising sign Gemini. December the 24th through the 30th. Whoa, 2018. The cards are wanting to talk. <laughs> wow. Time to decide. Make a decision based on your heart's true desires. Very nice. Very nice. All right, Gemini. Give me just a second. Let me look at your cards here. All right. All right. So, let me see here. Let's go ahead and start. Let's start with your oracles. All right, Gemini. I feel like... These two oracles go together. I mean, this is this card represents letting go of desperation, okay? Just letting go, period. Your angels are wanting you to know, let go. And, and what's very interesting here, it's time to decide. Make a decision based on your heart's true desires. I really feel like there's something going on, possibly, that you're needing to let go of so you can move forward. And your angels are telling you, Gemini, once you make this decision and, and, you know, once you let go and and just let go of whatever it is that's hindering, something's hindering you, okay? And your angels want you to know once you do that, then you're going to be able to move forward with, you know, what you really want in life, right? Because they're telling you it's time to go ahead and let go. It's time to make this decision because it's time, you know, it's divine timing, that, you know, it's ready for you to go out there, make a decision based on your heart's true desires. It says that right there. Your angels want you to know it's time to let go of this. Okay? Let go. Let go of desperation. Move forward. So, and, and that way you can make a decision about what you truly desire, what you truly want in life, Gemini. That's a very nice message right there. And, you know, at the, at the heart of the reading here... You know, we have, you know, at the situation of the week, we have the Four of Pentacles. Now, this is, a, you know, I don't look at this as the miser card, Gemini, um, in this deck. I, I see this as having a strong and stable foundation, okay? Something built strong, you know, stability. I, I see this as power. You being in control is how I see this card. So I really feel like you, you've got, you know, you, you've got a firm foundation here. I, I really feel like maybe you've been holding on to something, not wanting to let it go. And once you do, I mean, it's, you're, you're strong enough. This is, you're strong enough to let whatever it is go that you're holding on to is what I'm trying to say, Gemini. There's something that you need to let go of. That, that message, I can't get it out enough. Spirit's like really hit me over the head with it because you've got success here as well and and you i mean there's beautiful beautiful cards here and you have the feral this is what's going on in your mind okay 
this is what you're thinking about and here again i mean this uh this is like mixing finding a balance moderation um this very well could be um you know alchemy of some sort spiritual alchemy that you're working within yourself too gemini um but this card really reminds me of making sure that you have moderation in what you do and balance in in all things that you you know that you do in your life uh, because it's very important to make sure that the moderation the balance is there so we can stay in control over our lives and have the stability that we need so i mean you're aware of this you're making sure you're mixing you're matching your um you're working on yourself. I, I, I feel like this is like a spiritual work that you're doing on yourself, Gemini. Like spiritual alchemy almost. You could be working on your craft. You could be seeking an inner truth. Seeking out the truth um, as well. I, I, this is a very spiritual card to me. Very magical card to me. Now, when I look down here, when I see this card in your foundation, this is what's, this is what's driving you, Gemini, okay? So, when, when I see this in your foundation, what's driving you, this is commitment right here. This could be your soulmate as well, Gemini. Um, this, I mean, I, I'm looking in your recent past, and you have this Aries, Leo, or Sag, this King of Wands. It can be a female as well in your recent past. Now, this could be somebody you had a contract with as well, or a commitment with, okay? It was in the past. Um, I'm kind of getting here that this, this is two situations I'm getting. This is someone that you decided that you've left behind you, you this is somebody from your past and they're coming back okay they're coming back um this is you're going to commit or this is a contract i'm getting a contract um over everything because when i'm looking at this and then i i mean it's very strong this contract could have to do with uh, this person right here okay and this person by the way this king of wands this is a very um, enthusiastic, um, balanced, fair person, um, business-oriented person, enthusiastic. He, you can trust him. He's very sincere and passionate about what he does. This can be someone that you're thinking of going into business with, you know, having a contract with this person that's going to enable you to continue on with your stability but like i said for some of you for one of you this could be someone you was in a relationship with in the past and you could be picking up where you left off possibly uh, that message is coming through as well now in your new circumstance jim and i we have the six of wands this is a victory okay this is a success card so you know this is a new circumstance so Gemini, this um, I really do see that you're you're all up in your head this week. You're gonna make the you're gonna be able to let go of this desperation. You're gonna let go of whatever it is that's been hindering you. You're gonna make the decision that you need to to follow your heart's desires. It could be following your heart's desires to commit to this person from your past. Okay. Or you could be with someone. Doesn't mean that you've broken up or they were in your past. This could be somebody that you're with right now that you knew or that's just, you know, going forward and you're deciding to commit to them. Or, like I said, this could be a contract with this person, which is going to, you know, you're going to be able to have major stability, power. You're going to have control over yourself as well. Um, you're you're really up in your head, like I said, working on it this week. Uh, you're doing a lot of mental and spiritual alchemy here, I feel like. Working on yourself to get to this point of letting go of whatever this is, okay? Um, and you're going to decide. You're going to make the decision. You're going to make it um, by the end of this week. Because this new circumstance that comes in, like I said, is victory, victory over these cards right here you're having victory over it this was a really beautiful reading gemini 
Um, I really see wrestling with, with something here that's been hindering you as well. <coughs> Excuse me. But I see you getting control over it. I mean, you have control over it from the get-go. Don't get me wrong. You just, you're having a hard time letting go of something, a situation, uh, what, however this resonates with you. This was a very, very nice reading, Gemini. Very positive. Um, either way. Um, yes, it's a very positive reading. And there's just success, you know, success coming in victory. Uh, make sure you give you guys uh, a big pat, self pat. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, can't even talk. Give yourselves a big pat on the back, Gemini. Because you've, you're really working something out. And it's going to really benefit you. And it's going to show itself by the end of this week, this new circumstance. You've done really well. You've done a lot of hard work within yourself as well to make this happen. Um, I want to give uh, take out a second here. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing to my videos. It means the world to me. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I want to wish all of you a Merry Christmas. Um, those of you that don't celebrate Christmas, um, love and blessings uh, to you as well i just this was my dream and i'm very happy that i'm able to I'm very blessed that i'm able to do this and um i couldn't do it without all of you that subscribe and that watch and view my my videos and i just want you to know how much it really truly means to me and i thank you so much jim and i um love and wishes and blessings to all of you and i will see you next week thank you so much jim and i bye bye